people have reported that for about 10 to 15 seconds. They felt the ground and building shake, a rare sight in this part of the country. Fox 56's Taylor Wortonby is live tonight with more. Taylor. If you felt a tremor, it indeed was an earthquake. Many here say that they didn't have one since 2011, and that magnitude then was 5.8. U.S. Geological Survey figures indicate Friday's earthquake may have been felt by more than 42 million people. You all got to experience it. I didn't. I was on the road, so I didn't feel anything. Bob Akkarmi, assistant professor of geology and geophysics at Wilkes University, says, in general, we don't live near an active tectonic boundary. At this point, it's hard to tell exactly what the cause was, but it's likely a reactivated fault out in New Jersey. Around here, I mean, we have a mix of people who felt it, some who didn't feel it, and a lot a lot of that just has to do what kind of structure you were in, where the building is constructed, what type of foundation it's on. Carmi says the magnitude of the earthquake is high for us in this region. One resident of the Pocono says it took a few seconds to realize what was happening. I was on a Zoom call with, with two other folks and we saw a really quick skip in the screen, so a really quick flash. And then, you know, when you're in that situation, I was in one before. So it takes a second or two to realize really what's happening. And then all three of us almost said it exactly at the same time, we're having an earthquake. The house was shaking fairly heavily and I could see the trees moving slightly. Um, and it, it was about 10, maybe 15 seconds and then it stopped. PennDOT also spent part of today checking facilities for any structural damage. To this point, nothing has been reported. Uh, the accelerations that were felt in Northeast Pennsylvania were categorized by the USGS as minor uh, and very weak. Uh, visual inspections were completed at several facilities and there are no reports of damage or any structural concerns at this time with any PennDOT facility or asset. PennDOT says they don't expect any damages from this earthquake. Reporting live in Wilkes-Barre, I'm Taylor Wartonby with Fox 56 News first at 10.